to my channel if you're new here my name is Imani I do things all home decor making over spaces and creating the space that I want to live in and then also inspiring others to do the same and if you're returning then hey guys welcome back to the channel so guys we got something very different coming to the channel I am going to be starting a new series about things that you can do in your home to elevate your space and just take your space to a another level so I do want to share some things with you guys today. So if you guys are looking to see that video, make sure you stay tuned. I want to give you guys 10 tips and ideas to take your space to another level and just evolve your space just in general. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into it. If you are new here, um, I have been decorating and creating my own space since I was in my apartment. I used to do a lot of DIYs. Um, makeovers inside like my kitchen my bathroom my bedroom and just creating a beautiful space and then anybody who actually rented homes um, would actually get some really good tips so I have been creating spaces and designing spaces since about 2019 so I have been doing it for a few years now so I got a little bit experience to put in my belt but I'm not an expert by far so first things first I have a list for you guys that I have did and things that I have learned to um, take my space to another level. I did have a very dark home. If you're new here, my house was very dark. I have very dark furniture and just recently I did start evolving my space and elevating my space, bringing in greenery, um, a lot more natural tones and just a lot more um, lighter things in my house to actually make my house just look more like expensive. So I do have my book here um, that I did write some items down in and I'm super excited to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so the first tip I would like to share with you guys is actually switching out your light fixtures and your lighting inside of your house. Lighting and fixtures truly make a difference inside of a home. I am looking to upgrade my fixtures too as well. So I'm really excited for that. It is so many different light fixtures out there depending on your space and the type of lighting that you want. You can have a warm tone, a cool tone, or just a very bright tone. It is a ton of different styles out there, whether if your style is bohemian, glam, modern, rustic, it doesn't matter. It's so many styles out there and you will be surprised with how your space will turn if you guys end up switching out your lighting and just switching out your fixtures inside of your home. So that would definitely be my tip number so one. So my tip number two to elevate your home guys will definitely have to be artwork. Now I was never the artwork kind of girl. <laughs> I have definitely recently became in love with art and actually putting it into my home. As you guys can see behind me, I do have two sketches inside of my home now. If you're new here, I was very much so a mirror girl. I would put mirrors everywhere, but I am learning to do things that's out of my comfort zone to really create a different space and actually bring my space to another level. So I would definitely have to say, my tip number two would definitely have to be putting artwork inside of your home, but you can put like smaller artwork or bigger artwork. I just got like smaller pieces right here in the back. But also you can have a um, big artwork to kind of fill a whole wall if you want to and just kind of like make that artwork the vocal point of the room too as well. So I would definitely have to say my tip number two would definitely have to be putting art inside of your home and that will definitely just kind of create the colors that you're going to have into your home and just the color scheme that you would like to go for and then also the style. So my tip number three would have to be greenery. Now I am literally getting into the greenery, um, but I didn't realize how important it was until I started putting it into my home. You guys, it truly makes a difference when you put plants and greenery into your home. But as you can see right here in the back, I am starting to put like green stems inside of my vases, etc. You guys, when I say greenery is a game changer, it definitely brings light to the room. It brings warmth to the room and it just really just takes your space up to a whole nother level so i'm very excited that i did decide to go ahead and add some greenery into my space because it truly made a difference and then also in like the springtime it just gives such a positive feeling and then also too guys you don't have to just get the faux plants or like the fake plants you can actually get plants from outside like some um, plants in like your backyard and just like natural tone plants and just like natural real plants that will also go good in your space too as well. And I'm actually looking to do that with my own space. I'm actually gonna go in my yard and actually try to pick out some real plants and put it inside my vases and stuff to actually see what kind of vibe it gets. Because to me, that tends to make it just look a lot more modern and just a lot more natural overall. So my tip number four to elevate your space would definitely have to be 
Wendell treatment, okay? So at first I was not using curtains, but as I start decorating more, I realized how important curtains was, but not just curtains being important, but actually how the curtains actually sit on your windows, etc. So first off, if you don't know, if you raise your curtains all the way up to the ceiling, it will make your space appear bigger and it will make it appear wider and it will make it appear more grand as well. So I just love the fact that I put all my curtains up to the top of the ceiling because it truly makes my living room look a lot more bigger than it is. And it ultimately just gives that very luxury feeling once you put your curtains all the way up to the ceiling. Also, the curtains that I love is velvet curtains. But it's so many curtains out there. You can get so many curtains. You can get linen curtains. You can get sheer curtains. It don't matter the curtains. The bigger the better. My curtains that I have inside my home right now are actually 95 inches. And I kind of put them all the way up to the ceilings. My ceilings are not that tall. So it makes sense for me to actually put them all the way up to the ceiling. Because now it makes my living room appear bigger. And my ceilings to appear higher. So definitely I would say window treatment and getting some nice curtains and then also some beautiful curtain rods to add to the space so my tip number six would have to be actually adding statement pieces into your home i am definitely realizing how important it is to put bigger bolder pieces into your home because when you have big statement pieces into your home you don't really have to clutter them with a bunch of smaller pieces and i have learned that over the time as i've decorated and just evolved my space i've noticed that when i put like one or two pieces that looks really good and it's like a statement i don't have to crowd the space and make it look cluttered or smaller so definitely tip number six will have to be using statement pieces all throughout your home whether if it's your bedroom your kitchen your dining room or your former living room definitely using those statement pieces really makes a difference and it really just creates a conversation too as well so i would definitely have to say using statement pieces into your home, but not just small ones, big ones that actually makes a huge difference into your space. So my tip number six, I think I said six before with the statement pieces, but this is the actual six. I'm sorry guys. My tip number six would have to be having a open concept room. My first time moving into my home, um, I didn't know what to do with my living room, but then I quickly realized that this is like a open concept room. So I was actually able to put my furniture inside of my living room and then also put my dining table in here too as well it's just having that open concept room because to me i feel like when your room is just open you could just see different elements in your space and to me it just looks more luxury and it just looks better i like an open concept room i want you guys to comment and let me know if you guys like an open concept room so i would definitely say if you don't have an open concept room you could probably think about like creating one because to me i love when you can see like your furniture like your sofa and stuff and then also to the side you'll have your dining room area and then everything is just in one big room and it's open like i would love to have like a kitchen too as well i just love an open concept and i just think they just look more modern and just looks updated to me comment if you guys agree so my next tip is number seven and my next tip would definitely have to be wood flooring i did not get wood flooring until i moved into my home i did not have it in my apartment but you guys when i say wood flooring truly made a difference in my space but not just wood flooring the neutral tone wood flooring is like my favorite but it is a lot of different wood tones you can get like also i like the black wood flooring and like the dark brown like oak wood color mine is more like a peanut butter color but i love the color and it just goes with my space just perfectly so i would definitely have to say that wood flooring just makes your space look a lot more luxury and just a lot more modern and just definitely bring like those natural tones into your home that way any furniture or anything that you put on it it is just pop and it would just look so beautiful so i would definitely have to say that my tip number seven would definitely have to be having wood flooring inside of your home now it is um like they have like the pill and stick wood flooring they have the real wood flooring you can get so i would definitely have to say my tip number seven would be having hardwood floors into your home okay guys so my next tip is definitely going to be number eight and that would have to be painting your home and switching out your wall color i feel like any walls that's like bright and light just gives you the opportunity to put any type of furniture in so i would say if you do any type of neutral wall you can definitely um put a lot more different styles in there instead of being stuck with like one style because i do believe if your walls are like a light gray or like a white i feel like you can just do more with the space and then you can also 
color your edging different like your molding so like mine is like gray and then i have like white molding and it just looks so good as you guys can see in the background it just looks really cute so yeah i would definitely have to say my tip number eight would definitely be painting your walls a different color because to me i feel like when your walls are just brighter they just look better and it's a lot more open and airy and it just makes you feel better i do not care for dark walls it just do not serve a purpose to me and who wants to live in a space that's extremely dark i truly feel like when you wake up in your home you want to wake up and feel bright light airy and you just really want to be inspired so i do believe depending on your wall color inside your house will depend on your mood so i would definitely recommend to change out your wall color if you guys have any wall colors that's like a yellowish brown or like a brown or like a super deep tan try to go lighter because i'm telling y'all it would make a world of a difference like go lighter and your space will automatically look more modern and more up to date so my tip number nine is going to be actually a oversized rug so i actually love oversized rugs because I feel the bigger the better. Even if your furniture is not as big as the rug, I feel like when your rug is bigger, it just makes your space look bigger versus having a tiny rug. So like I see a lot of people actually have like rugs that's smaller than their sofa. You don't wanna do that. What that does is that makes your space look a lot smaller and it just doesn't look luxury. It kinda looks a little tacky. So if anything, go oversized because when it's bigger, it's better. You can add more furniture on it and it actually just levels out with your room too as well. Especially if you have a big room, you definitely want to do a big rug because it just looks more grand, a lot more expensive, and it just looks a lot better. So I would definitely have to say doing a oversized rug. Me personally, I like a light color rug, a neutral rug. At first I had a black rug, but I can definitely tell the difference when I switched out my rug and actually got a rug that was lighter. It just made the floors pop a lot more so it's like i have my floors that was already beautiful but then i put this extra neutral color on top of the floors and it just all just like came together and just created something really beautiful so i would definitely have to say if you guys get a rug definitely get like a 9 by 12 or a um 8 by 10 that's actually what i have right now and it kind of just goes off of my sofa just a little bit but that's perfect because like i said the bigger the better so definitely if you guys have small rugs or like if you guys have a rug where your furniture um, actually hangs off of your rug, you guys definitely get a bigger rug because it would truly make a difference in your home. And my tip number 10 would definitely have to be something that I take very serious, definitely housekeeping. I cannot stress this enough. If your house is very crowded, very messy, um, and it just doesn't look appealing or just make you feel better, then you should probably switch your space. So my number 10 tip would definitely have to be having good housekeeping guys, because I'm telling you. So like the way I live my life, I do not like clutter. Um, I think it really just makes a place just look very close in. I do believe if you have too much in a room, you cannot really see the masterpiece of what you decorated because it's so much going on. So I do just like a few pieces in my living room. It just looks a lot more luxury and it just looks better. So I would definitely have to say, do not clutter your space. Do not feel like you have to have a ton into your space. Just only have the pieces that you need for your space and nothing more because ultimately that just makes your space look a lot more better and it really makes your home look very staged and not only that like when your space is clean actually your mind is not cluttered so it's important for me to have a clean space because then my mind is not cluttered and i'm able to just work better and i'm just able to be able to have a better start to my day okay guys so i hope you guys truly got something out of today's video like i said i'm still learning myself i am not an expert I just wanted to share with you guys some things that I have did to take my space to a next level and also just elevate my space. So I truly hope you guys enjoyed my tips today and actually got some really good tips and ideas out of today's video. If you guys would like for me to do a series on this, make sure you guys comment and let me know. And if you guys are new here, welcome and do not forget to subscribe if you like any of my content. And if you guys are returning, then hey girls, I appreciate you guys coming back. And that is going to be my 10 tips and ideas on how to elevate your space. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.